Hi everyone, this is a pink and purple ombre eyeshadow look. First I'm using L'Oreal BB Cream. I'm using my fingers to apply that just because I find it glides on a lot easier than using a brush or a sponge. I'm using MAC Studio Finish Concealer and I'm applying that under my eyes and the sides of my nose and wherever else I need to conceal. I'm using Urban Decay Mattifying Powder to set my foundation and concealer. I'm using a Real Techniques Kabuki brush for that. Next I'm using NYX Matte Bronzing Powder. I'm using a Real Techniques Contouring Brush and I'm going to go ahead and contour the hollows of my cheeks and my temples just to add more structure to my face. I'm using number 7 Illuminator in Peach just to highlight my cheekbones. I'm applying lip balm to my lips just to soften them ready for the lipstick later. I've already done one eye and I'm going to go ahead now and show you how I did it. I'm using NYX Eyeshadow Primer in white and I'm applying that all over my eyelid. I'm using the Makeup Forever Flash Palette and I'm going to take this black colour here. Using a Real Techniques Eyeliner Brush, I'm going to take that colour all the way across my lash line. I'm going to make the line thicker as I get to the outer corner of my eye. Next I'm using this Bright Stargazer Eyeshadow Palette and I'm going to use this purple colour here. Using a Real Techniques Domed Shadow Brush. I'm going to apply that to the lower part of my eyelid and take it up to just under my crease. Next I'm using this Real Techniques Shading Brush just to really build up that colour so it looks more vibrant and bright. Next I'm using this pink neon colour here and using the same eyeshadow shading brush I'm going to take that to slightly above my crease. Now I'm taking this MAC blending brush and I'm going to blend those two colours together to give a seamless finish. Here I'm adding more of that vibrant neon pink colour just to build up the eyeshadow so it really stands out. I'm using this MAC eyeshadow in vibrant grey and I'm going to apply that to the outer corner of my eye just to add more depth. Next I'm using MAC Gesso. I'm using this Real Techniques Dulux Crease Brush. It's domed and I think it's perfect just to apply that eyeshadow beneath my brow and really build up the pigment there. Next I'm using this MAC Barbie eyeshadow in Playful Satin. And using the same brush I'm going to apply that slightly above the neon pink colour, just above the crease and I'm going to blend that into the white using the MAC Blending Brush. Next I'm lining my lower lash line using that same black colour from the Makeup Forever Flash Palette. I'm not going to line it all the way across, I'm going to miss out just the inner corner. Next I'm going to apply some of that pink and purple from the Stargazer Eyeshadow Palette all the way across the black eyeliner. Next I'm using this NYX Eyebrow Pencil and I'm going to go ahead and fill in and shape my brows where I need to. Next I'm lining my lash line again, just to give my lashes a fuller appearance and re-emphasise the eyeliner as the eyeshadow I used before really dulled down the black. Next I'm applying false lashes and I'm using this Maybelline Great Lash Mascara and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to my upper and lower lashes. Next I'm using this black eyeliner by MAC in Smolder. I'm applying that to my upper waterline by gently lifting up my eyelashes. I'm also applying that to my lower waterline as well. I'm using some of this Cosmetic Fairy Glitter Dust and I'm going to go ahead and apply that to the inner corner of my eye. I think this glitter dust looks so good on bright sunny days when the sun just makes every little particle glisten. Next I'm using this MAC blusher in Pink Swoon and I'm applying that to my cheekbones and the apples on my cheeks with the Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I'm lining my lips with Dervish by MAC and I'm using this MAC lipstick in Velvet Teddy. It's a matte nude lipstick with a creamy texture so it doesn't dry your lips like other matte lipsticks do. And this is the finished look. I hope you enjoyed this video and thank you so much for watching. Bye!